Today, we're going to learn a little bit about home audio video. All right. It's a passion of mine. I used to sell audio video at Ultimate Electronics Best Buy. And I just want to make sure that you know the basics so you can make an intelligent choice as you're starting to dip your toe in the waters here. Okay, So a good sound system is where to start. That's where I always start. And I always start with the speakers. Now, if you notice right here behind me, this is the largest speaker I have. This is called a center channel. And actually 60% of your sound comes out of this one speaker. This is where your dialogue comes from, all your voices. Now, just because a speaker is large, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily louder, but it, this particular speaker gives you better detail of sound. It's a lot easier to pick out somebody's whispered voices if you have a good center channel, to know exactly what people are talking about in between, you know, in between explosions in your favorite action movie. All right. From there, you move forward to your surround speakers, which I've got up here. All right. Your front surround speakers are going to cover the most of the rest of your sound, and it's important to pick ones that again are going to be clear and they're going to be detailed. A lower end speaker, you're going to have to crank louder to get what you need out of it. And then you'll have more distortion, and then you have upset neighbors, and then you got to worry about the homeowners association. Not something you ever want to be going through. So make sure you pick one with a decent sound. Most establishments where you can pick these kind of things out with their self have a good listening room. They'll be able to demonstrate what exactly the good speakers can do for you. Now you don't have to get, spend thousands and thousands of dollars on sound systems. I mean, goodness knows I didn't have the money to do so. But just for a couple of hundred dollars, you can get a sound system you can believe in. And then we're gonna point your attention around here to the back side here to our surround speakers. Only 8% of your sound comes out of these two speakers, but it's that important 8%. It's that bullet whizzing by your head. It's that serial killer sneaking up behind you. It's those things that give you goosebumps and make your hair stand on end. The biggest thing for that, one, you still want a very clear speaker, and two, positioning. You want to make sure for the largest portion of the room, they're going to be in the positions they're called for. Now, in any 5.1 surround sound system, the five is your five speakers. Your channel channel is in the middle. You have your front left, your front right, your rear right, and your rear left. And you want to make sure that rear right is to the right as many people as possible, and the left is to the left of as many people as possible to really get an immersive experience. Now, they call it a 5.1. Well, what does the point one mean? It means this little guy right here. This is called a subwoofer. Now, it's incredibly important, especially in systems like mine, where you don't have large front speakers. The smaller the speaker, the harder it is for it to reproduce lower tones. That's what a subwoofer is all about. Being able to reproduce those big booms and bams, yes, but also to, to listen to a great stand-up bass player in a jazz band or to give you that detail on the lower tones and to really fill out for a, lower, uh, for a smaller speaker. When you wall mount like I do, I have small children, having a floor mounted speaker, I did that. It didn't work out so good. Being able to wall mount your speakers is huge, but then you need a decent subwoofer to be able to fill things out, okay? So the next component to a good audio system is gonna be this guy right here. This is your home receiver. Now, good rule of thumb, the heavier it is, the better it's gonna sound. But you gotta decide if sounds what you're worth and what you're after. In my particular case, I used to have one that had a much better sound. Again, you know, perks from working in the industry, I was able to pick up one that was really nice, but I ended up getting rid of it because it didn't take care of my video needs enough. If you notice here, I have a wall-mounted television, and so I want to run as few cables to it as possible. And the best way to do that is to run all of your components, and I have a lot. You know, I've got cable boxes and video game systems aplenty. And to be able to run all of them into the receiver and then run one cable up to the television. Now, as little as six years ago, this was a pain. <laughs> you had to run something called components. You had about five different cables for each one of these, and it was just absolutely a mess. It gave you great picture, it gave you great sound, but it also gave you a great snarl of cables. Now, you'll notice I've got a little bit of snarling going on here. It's because we just moved in, and for me, it was more important to get things set up and get them sounding right, and cable management comes next. But with the HDMI system, you run one cable, it runs high definition video and high definition audio up to a, more than a 5.1 sound. If you have more speakers, then you have a, a Blu-ray capable of putting that out. And 
being able to run it all from this one box is absolutely huge. Uh, it makes giving a universal controller kind of a necessity because you want to be able to switch which one you're looking at from the couch. Uh, there are several available. A great company called Harmony comes out with the ones I recommend the most. They have a wide range from $60 remotes up to how much did you spend for that again? But they give you different layers of complexity and things called macros where you press one button and it does several different things. Turn on your television, turn on your receiver, set your receiver where you need to be, set your TV where you need to be. Just one button, set it and forget it. So it's just a nice little intro primer into home audio video. Didn't want to make anything too intimidating, but I wanted you to at least have the ability to walk in, know what you're looking for, know what's important, and uh, be able to enjoy your home sound.